Blokes, the Moody's. Here's another good bloke, Matt Moffat. You're having a look at his album cover that is also into the top 30 and going up the charts. And he's here with us now, running just a touch late, but please welcome in Matt Moffat and thank you for being here. With a single, solo single in the album, both in the top 30, after all these years, do you think now, gee, why didn't I turn solo a little earlier than this? Um, probably since doing the songs, writing the songs for this one, mm. part of making the Buy As Little As A Look was discovering where I was probably before writing for the band and, and what sort of songs I could tackle right. by myself. So yeah, while doing the album, I sort of uh -huh. worked into that. Miss This Tonight, which is the one we saw a little early, where did you write that? Miss This Tonight um, was probably the first collaboration that I've, I've ever done with anybody, a guy called Pete Glenister. It was... Uh, it was the English guy. Yeah. Right. Pete, uh, who uh, co-wrote some songs on this album with uh -huh. me and some I wrote myself. Miss This Tonight, though, was, um, yeah, the first co-written song I'd done. He had a bit of that written when I met him in England, right. and uh, we completed that together. What inspired your completion of it? Oh, a mixture of things, Donny. I guess... Uh, Partly being away from Australia for the first time. A little bit of homesickness. A little bit of homesickness. Uh, friends, specific people. Um, and probably a very good place to start for me because, you know, yeah. kicking off an album and writing, uh, exploring the relationship, right. the writing relationship, it was something I could relate to at the beginning of the project quite well. Uh -huh. How long were you in the UK? How I, I mean, how long were you away from us? Uh, I left after the U2 tour right. that uh, Matt Finish did shortly after that and uh, went away probably 1984, got back before Christmas 85. So that break, did you need that to break yourself uh, mentally away from being a part of a band and being a solo performer as such? Is that why you did that? Uh, it was, I guess, as I said, it, it, in writing the songs for this album, I kind of discovered myself that a lot of the stuff I was writing for Matt Finish was for that lineup. Yeah. And uh, I guess it kind of drew the distinction between songs written for a lineup, more, you know, sort of giving things and songs that you would write and feel that you could do yourself. So it was a bit of a learning experience. You know? Right. You were once described as cautious and paranoid, but you don't come across that way anymore. Is that because of the solo career and the success you're having now? It's very, it's very gratifying, the success, uh, the, the way it's been received. I mean, you go away to the other side of the world nearly to come back home and say, this is what I've done, but uh, I guess experience, uh, I've had a bit of experience, a uh, bit of water under the bridge. So you just yeah. warm up to the occasion. In the, last, in the last year or two, so I feel a bit easier and quite proud of the album too. Sure. So so get out there be. and make myself available. Matt Moffat uh, was in the band, Matt Finish, for something like eight years, is that correct? Uh, a bit less than that, but... Uh, That's a long time. Yeah, we were, we were quite a close lineup. So now you've been off the road and out of working life for a couple of years. Mm. Are you breaking your neck to get back into it? I'm pretty keen to uh, to get in front of an audience again. Yeah. And uh, I'm pretty keen to sort of get out there and, and continue that uh, slightly raging tradition and get yeah. out and do some live gigs. Yeah, it's always so been a big part happen, of what yeah? I've done. When can that happen? It'll happen before Christmas this year, Donnie. Great. And you line up all Australian, or will you bring in the English guy? No, I think it, it will probably be uh, a mixture of people. I think it'll probably keep us all on our toes. Beauty. What about the, the single and the album? Have they had any releases outside of Australia, or is, is that to come? Um, New Zealand on Monday. Oh, beauty. And, um, which is a first, actually, for, yeah. uh, for me. I've never had anything out there before. Um, England on the 4th of, uh, of August. Will you go over there to, produce, to promote that again? All being well. Yeah. Um, and uh, Holland at the end of August. Good on you. So, so you come back here, go on the road later in the year. Mm. Up near the end. Yeah. Look forward to that, mate. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming in and joining us on Sounds. Now, we were going to go to uh, DC Lee, but of course we've done that already.